Mastering kitchen verbs, dusting with flour, explained. Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel, where we dive into the fascinating world of English language learning. Today, we're going to unravel the meaning behind the culinary phrase, dusting with flour. Whether you're a cooking enthusiast or just looking to expand your English vocabulary, this video is for you. Let's get started and explore how this simple phrase plays a big role in kitchen lingo. Dusting with flour refers to the process of lightly sprinkling a thin layer of flour over a surface or food item. This technique is commonly used in baking and cooking to prevent sticking, create a barrier, or prepare a surface for rolling out dough. The key here is the word, lightly. It's not about covering the item completely, but rather giving it a fine, even coat. Dusting with flour is a versatile technique used in various cooking and baking scenarios. Here are some common situations. Preventing dough from sticking. Before rolling out dough for bread, pizza, or pastries, a surface might be dusted with flour to prevent the dough from sticking. Preparing cake pans. Dusting the inside of a cake pan with flour can prevent cakes from sticking, making them easier to remove after baking. Thickening sauces. Sometimes, a small amount of flour is dusted over ingredients before they're cooked to help thicken sauces. Understanding the context and purpose can help learners apply this phrase correctly in both culinary and linguistic situations. Use a fine mesh sieve. For an even and light dusting, use a sieve or sifter. This ensures the flour covers the surface gently without clumping. Tap off excess flour. Especially when preparing pans or surfaces, it's important to tap off any excess flour. Only a thin layer is needed for most purposes. Practice makes perfect. Try dusting flour in different contexts. When baking bread, preparing a cake pan, or making a roux for sauce. This hands-on experience will solidify your understanding of the term. Dusting with flour is more than just a culinary technique. It's a phrase that encapsulates the precision and care that goes into cooking and baking. We hope this video has not only expanded your English vocabulary but also inspired you to experiment with this technique in your own kitchen adventures. Remember, learning English is like cooking. It requires practice, patience, and a pinch of creativity. Thank you for watching, and see you in our next video. Happy learning, and cooking!